Hello Peter from Divi Engine. Divi Ajax Filter 2.0 is out and really excited to bring these news to you. We've been working hard to, uh, to work on this update and I thought I'd just make a video just to show you a few of the key features. So the first one you'll notice is that the, uh, the Ajax filters is Visual Builder compatible. Now the Ajax filter, uh, this is for Diddy Machine, Body Commerce, all the standalone plugin. You'll notice that some of the modules in Divi Machine are not compatible yet. This is soon to change as well. We're we, uh, going to be working on uh, finishing an update for that as well. But let's just focus on the Visual Builder. So you can see uh, if I add another option here, clearly shows the select. I can choose checkbox, etc, etc. Now the key thing to point out is sometimes we'll just display a preview of what it looks like and not the exact details. And this is because of the time it can take to uh, to to pull in the data. It then loads long a long time for your builder to load, and that obviously is not great. So we sometimes show just the preview. For example, this uh, rain slider. But as you can see, it's pretty spot on in terms of the way it looks. We also moved a lot of the settings that were design orientated into the design tab. And, and content into content. So we've kind of, we've, we've cleaned up the, the modules quite a bit, spent a lot of time on that. One of the options we've actually added that I want to point out for the checkbox is if you go to checkbox radio, the checkbox style normal, Divi style, which changed it to like this. But again, you can also change it to be checkbox or radio, even if it's, let's say it's a radio, you can make it look like a checkbox, but it'll still act as a radio. So, we're going to add this last little feature here for you. We've also worked a lot of escaping and sanitizing our code. This is for to increase security. So it is, um, that's also been done. The other option is uh, sometimes people, are, when you create a, a custom loop layout, the content in the Visual Builder does not match the custom post that you're working on. Let's say you're working on a testimonial or a, a dealer or a car and you want you want to see the data live Sometimes it's hard because uh, before there was no way to kind of define what the custom post type was that you wanted. Now, if you're in the Divi, in the Divi library, I'm just going to make it to wireframe so you can see what I'm talking about. On the right hand side, there's a section where you can define what, what you want to show. So here I can say, okay, I want to show cars. And it does require you to save and reload the page in order to ac actually see the data. So in, in the, live preview mode it's just below so you can change it there the same thing applies on pages where uh, page settings is available we've put it into the page settings and here you can change it on here so in the theme builder is much the same settings Divi engine theme builder we choose there now this doesn't apply to, to like the module the archive loop for example in the archive loop we pull in the data that you choose to show. So you want to show cars, we will show cars. If you want to show posts, we will show posts. So yeah, so I think that's a great addition just to help you uh, visualize your changes uh, better. We've also added a new style to the, to uh, the, the filter, layout options, filter style, we have normal, toggle or slide. So we had normal and toggle before, we now have slide. So the idea behind slide is you, if you choose that, uh, you then, if you look at, input the ID of the HTML element to slide. So here, what you do is you add another module. Let's just uh, call this just a button, a button module. And then add an ID in there. Uh, let's go uh, slide filter just for argument's sake. Then in here, under layout options, add the ID. You can also um, change the text of the filter when it's open. Save it up. So you have to, ha so you have to have a button module or something else that you can use. Now if you reload, You'll see when you click on that, 
it slides it out nicely. And you see it changes the word to hide filter. So that's a new option that we have with the filter module. We've also done a load of uh, work on speed improvements. So we've improved the speed of the loop layouts. By uh, we created our own like little template system that only calls the template once and then executes it again for every post. We've improved the post count dramatically. Uh, so you can see over here all these post counts in the filter. Uh, before it was it was doing queries to the database for each post count. Now we've done a lot, it was a lot of work, but we've made it only query the database once. So on one site there was a customer who had uh, I think over three thousand posts and loads of different categories. It was crazy amounts, and it took about eighteen seconds for the filter to update because of the amount of posts that it was working out that like the post count. That was the the thing that was taking a long time. We've now improved it and worked on it, and now it took we it took one and one point four seconds down from eighteen on this customer's website. So the speed was dramatically improved. Uh, we've also yeah we just we just kind of cleaned up the module a lot. We spent a lot of time in terms of creating so, creating uh, sub toggles. So um, you know if we got design items. Uh, fields like basically we just we've just been working a lot a lot on all this so you can see that we've done sub toggles now we just just improve it all and this is going to carry on we're going to be improving this more so that's that's for ajax filter body commerce and machine okay but we've also done a bit more work on divi machine uh, and that the first main thing is we've removed our previous framework for our settings called titan framework Titan framework was great for us. It helped us to make our plugin settings quick, um, but uh, it, we have determined that it has it does slow down your website. Not crazy, but it does. So we're just trying to improve everything as best we can. So we've removed that now, and if you go to Divi Engine Machine Settings, you'll see it's changed and it looks much like Divi settings. Because what we've done is we've actually we've actually piggybacked off Divi's code for their settings, so that less code is is used on your website because this has already been loaded for Divi why not use it so we've improved that this includes um, let's away. this includes when I do when we create your custom post sorry there's loads of testing ones here on my website uh, made this look a bit better cleaned it up and yeah just made it really nice and easy for you to use uh, the other thing which we added was uh, in our archive loop we had a way to sort the posts based on ACF field or ACF date picker. We've now added that to the carousel module as well. So you can show posts, for example, today and in the future or in the past seven days or just today for the carousel module. So we've added that as well. Yeah, so ch check the full. There's there's been so many changes as well, but those are kind of the main ones. So the main the main ones was you know the visual builder, getting that up to speed, uh, improving the security of our code, and speeding up the archive loop. That's kind of the main kind of um, things we were working on, and yeah. So I, I just I just um, and we're obviously going to be improving as we go. So that's it really. So uh, ch check the change log because there's loads of other mods and fixes which I don't want to kind of go into because they're not major and I just I just want to get you to understand the core focus of this big update that we've done. So it's visual, speed and security which is great. So our next steps are Divi Machine and then Body Commerce. We're going to be doing, we're going to be doing much the same, uh, you know, looking at our visual builder, security, speed. That's all the things we're looking at. So hang tight. It's going to be a good journey. And once we once we get there, uh, our plugins are going to be better. You're going to be happier. And you can get more customers, which is what we want. So have a great day. Really appreciate all of you. Speak to you soon.